Hey everyone, today we're diving into a topic that's been making headlines across Europe and beyond, the Oropouche virus, also known as the sloth virus. This virus, which has been around for decades, is now being reported in Europe for the first time. And it has everyone asking questions. What is it? How does it spread? And should you be concerned? Let's break it all down. The Oropouche virus is a Zika-like illness that primarily spreads in the Americas. It was first detected in 1955 in Trinidad and Tobago and has since caused outbreaks in countries like Brazil, Bolivia, Colombia and Peru. But recently it's made its way to Europe with cases being reported in Spain, Italy and Germany. So how does this virus actually spread? Well, it's transmitted to humans through bites from midges, a type of biting fly and mosquitoes. However, it's important to note that there's no evidence of the virus spreading directly from person to person. The symptoms of Oropouche virus are similar to those of other mosquito-borne illnesses like Zika. People infected with the virus might experience sudden fever, muscle aches, sensitivity to light, eye pain, vomiting and a rash. In some cases, it can even affect the nervous system, causing inflammation around the spinal cord and brain. But don't worry, most people recover within several days to a month and fatal outcomes are extremely rare. But what has people especially concerned right now is the potential link between Oropouche virus and poor pregnancy outcomes, similar to what we've seen with Zika. Some cases in Brazil have tentatively been linked to pregnancy loss and microcephaly, where a baby's head is much smaller than expected. However, this connection is still under investigation. You might be wondering why it's sometimes called the sloth virus. Well, some researchers believe that the pale-throated sloth, along with other animals like wild birds and certain primates, might be key hosts for the virus. Midges and mosquitoes could potentially transmit the virus from these animals to humans, but the exact animal hosts haven't been confirmed yet. So while the name sloth virus might sound a bit exotic, it's just one piece of the puzzle as scientists work to better understand how this virus operates. Now that the virus has been detected in Europe, you might be wondering what this means for you, especially if you're traveling. The European Center for Disease Prevention and Control, ECDC, has assessed that the risk of catching the Oropouche virus in Europe is very low since the midges that spread the virus aren't found there. However, if you're traveling to areas where the virus is active, like parts of South America or the Caribbean, taking precautions is key. Make sure to use insect repellent, wear long sleeves and pants, and consider using insecticide-treated bed nets, especially if you're in areas without adequate screening or air conditioning. That's it for today's video. The Oropouche virus is definitely something to keep an eye on, but with the right precautions, you can minimize your risk. If you found this video helpful, don't forget to give it a thumbs up and subscribe for more content like this. And let me know in the comments, have you heard of the Oropouche virus before? Thanks for watching and stay safe out there.